Welcome back to part 2 of portrait drawing. Here's a few tips before you start drawing. Always stand back and look at your drawing as it progresses so you can see it more clearly. If you get frustrated, walk away from it for a few hours and come back to it with fresh eyes. Don't lean too hard on the charcoal for this stage. Make sure you are happy with the proportions in the line drawing before you move on to the next stage because it's a lot harder to fix mistakes in the next stage. Be patient and have fun. Before we start the drawing, I want to show you how I line things up and get proportions correct. I draw imaginary lines and break the face down into shapes. I measure the eyes to make sure they're approximately the same size. I draw lines in my head from the eyes to the nose, nose to the mouth and so on. I find angles and measurements by holding my arm straight out in front of model. I close one eye and use my stylus or a knitting needle to measure features on his face. Take out the lines you don't need. Remember, the method I gave you in part one is just a guide to help you find proportions. You will need to tweak and move these markings to find a likeness. You will notice that I'm constantly checking angles. It's really important to be aware of this and keep lining things up. It's also very important to keep looking at the model. Always measure different features of each other. For instance, I measured between his eyes and I found it was approximately the same size as his eye. Really pay attention and study the face. You will find you will start to notice things you might not have noticed before. Very subtle changes in lines can make a huge difference when finding a likeness. It always amazes me how much of a difference a little change in the curve of a line can make. And it might not be obvious to you at first, but if you keep looking and studying, eventually you will see it and these mistakes will become easier to spot.
Here I've noticed that the right side of the face is not wide enough. Because there's a turn in the head, the right side needs to be a lot wider. Subtle changes of the jawline can make a big difference to the shape of the face. Follow the lines of the hair to give you the direction in which they fall.
And that's the line drawing finished. See you for the next stage where I'll go through shading and values.